Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to this morning yoga practice. So this practice has of course some of the easy but some of the intermediate asanas. So make sure if you are a beginner and still practicing this, you are listening to your body and follow your own variations. So I have focused a bit on the shoulders and the spine in this particular practice. So I have included some variations for shoulder opening into the asanas. So let's explore this practice together and get the right energy for this morning. Sitting over your mat, into the clock cross leg position. You can place your palms over your thighs. If you want, take the chin mudra by pressing the tip of your, of your index finger against the tip of your thumb. Palms facing up. Relax your whole body. If you want, make whatever movement you feel like making to relax your body. Loosen up. Let go of all the control. And take your awareness to your breath. And watching the breath in its natural rhythm. And just noticing how your body, mind and spirit is feeling right now. Whatever sensations, feelings, emotions. Just noticing everything. Becoming aware. and build the connection with everything around you, your mat, the space around you, your body, and let us also set an intention to continue this connection throughout the session. Bring your palms to the heart center. We'll be chanting one Om Shri Shanti. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Shanti. 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 As you exhale, you can open your eyes. Interlace your fingers in front of you and stretch your palms up. As you take your palms up, lengthen your spine, lengthen your torso. And then slowly bend your elbows and take your palms behind your head. Stretching in the opposite direction. So your fingers are restricting your palms to separate. So you're creating that pressure in your shoulders as well as in your chest. Inhale again, stretch your arms up, loosen up and then again start to bend your elbows, take your palms behind you, behind your head. Chin would remain parallel to the mat. Inhale, stretch back them up. And as you exhale, bend your left elbow and take your palms down towards your right. So right elbow is pointing towards the floor on your right. Interlace your fingers and they are, sep they are stopping your palms to separate. So you're creating that tiff. And again, inhale back to the center. Exhale, change the side. You can do this with the belt if you feel that your fingers are slipping, then belt is another option. Inhale, back to the center and this time we are going to stretch towards the, uh, we are not pointing, just keeping the upper arm, right upper arm parallel to the floor. Inhale, back to the center, exhale, left upper arm parallel to the floor.
and coming back to the center inhale lengthen up exhale bend over to your right stretch the left side look at the floor look at the ceiling through your left armpit or to your left palm keeping your shoulders open right palm pressing the floor down inhale back to the center exhale change the side Inhale, come back to the center and exhale, twist to your right, right palm behind your right hip, left palm over your thigh or knee, pressing it in, creating a nice twist, traveling from your lower back up to your shoulders. And exhale, release, inhale, lengthen up, exhale, twist to your left. And exhale to release come back on your fours align your shoulders with your wrist align your hips with your knees the back of your foot may be resting or tuck your toes inhale press your chest down tilt your pelvis take your chin up exhale chin to the chest inhale Exhale, chin to the chest, lift your spine, shoulders, tailbone down, inhale up. Exhale, chin to the chest, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Coming back to the center, from here place your elbows down in front of you on the mat. Interlace your fingers and then sink your chest down. If your hips are going away, back beyond your knees, then you can just adjust your hips, align them with your knees. Maybe if you have to walk your elbows a little bit forward, backward, do that. And feel this opening in the shoulders. You can do this with blocks as well. So this is working on your shoulders as well as your spine. And from here, drop your forearms. Keeping your fingers interlaced, drop them in front of you and take your chest forward tuck your toes lift your hips up and start to walk your feet towards your forearms you can keep your heels lifted dolphin if you can place your heels back on the floor do that you will feel a deeper stretch in your hamstrings here And from here again, drop your knees, place your palms back on the mat, tuck your toes, move into your downward dog. Let us walk our heels a bit to loosen up the hamstrings, even though in dolphin, a pretty good stretch happens in the hamstrings. So if you want, you can just simply stay in the downward dog without walking the heels. And from here, exhale, bend your knees. Look forward to step forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head into fold. Inhale to roll your spine up, vertebra by vertebra, nice and gentle. Roll your shoulders back, hands on the side, tuck your tailbone in. Maybe pull your navel in, feel the lifting in the torso. Feet strongly rooted on the ground. The mound of your toes and your heels pressing down on the mat. 
equally. And then center point of your heel is also pressing down. And from here, inhale to raise your arms, join your palms together, look at your thumbs, exhale to fold forward, Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, head up, choose your variation, hands on the side or on the mat. Exhale to your plank, lower down, your knees, chest or chin or chaturanga. Inhale, slide your chest up, look up towards the ceiling, the back of your foot resting. Exhale, tuck your toes, take your knees back to move into your downward dog. Few breath here. Your torso is relaxed, shoulders relaxed, away from your ears. Keep breathing in and out through your nostrils, always through your nostrils, unless you have closed nostrils. <laughs> Exhale, bend your knees to step forward. I said that because even my nostrils are closed sometimes. So, Inhale, head up. Exhale, head into fold. Inhale, arms up. Join your palms. Exhale, release. Let's move to another round. Inhale, up. Exhale to fold over, inhale, head up, exhale, step, jump, walk back to your plank, lower down to Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, roll or tuck your toes to move into your downward dog. Engage your thighs. Maybe glutes, when you press your heels down automatically, your glutes will get engaged if the center point of your heels presses down. And as you exhale, bend your knees to look forward, step or jump forward, inhale, half lift, exhale, head into fold, inhale, arms all the way up, join your palms, exhale. Release. Moving to Surya Namaskara B, we will do some variations here. So bend your knees, sweep your arms up, inhale, pointing your tailbone down. Exhale, fold over, inhale, head up. Exhale to your plank, lower down to Chaturanga or choose your variation. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back to your downward dog. And bring your right leg forward between your palms rotate your left heel place it on the floor inhale arms up and again we are going to interlace the fingers and taking our arms behind the head opening the chest up or maybe look up towards the ceiling as well one two three four, five, exhale to your plank, lower down, inhale, up, exhale, downward dog and change the side, inhale, first lift your arms up and then interlace your fingers, elbows down, look up maybe, one, Two, three, four, five. Exhale, palms back down on the mat. Move into your plank, lower down. Inhale, exhale, tuck your toes. Downward dog, relax your breath here. Catch hold of the breath. Mm -hmm. 
exhale to bend your knees to step forward inhale half lift exhale head into fold inhale sweep your arms up with a chair pose exhale back to your tarasana now from here interlace your fingers behind you keeping your feet hip distance apart open your chest inhale exhale to start to fold forward keeping your chin forward maybe slightly bent knees that's okay and then allow your arms to fall towards the floor relax your torso and your arms and let the passive stretch happen Again, bend your knees to come all the way up, moving into Uttatatra Konasana. So distance between your feet, about three feet, your three feet. Turn your right foot out, stretch your arms. Inhale to lengthen your right side. Exhale, fold to your right, reach out to your shin, ankle. Hook your toe, left arm up. Send your chest back. Inhale, bend your knee to come up, right foot in and left foot out. Inhale to stretch up the left side, exhale, keep the lengthening in the torso as you fold over. Well done, bend your knee to come all the way up and step to the top of your mat to open your feet again to four feet distance and turn both of your feet to your right. From here you can take about four to five feet distance, inhale to raise your arms up and bend your front knee to bring it over your right heel. This is a variation of Virbhadrasana and from here interlace your fingers behind you you can just simply stay here look up or as you exhale fold inside your right thigh as much as you can drop your arms so you don't have to control your arms and as you inhale Again, come all the way up, turn both of your feet in to the center and then to your left. Again, as you inhale, first lengthen your torso, bend your front knee, bring it over your heel and then interlace your fingers. Open your chest, stay here or fold over. And as you inhale, start to come all the way back up, turn your feet in, about same, keeping them parallel to each other and interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale to lift your chest, exhale, fold forward. Drop your arms, again no control over the arms. wherever they go how much ever deeper they go just allow them and again bend your knees to come 
all the way up and step to the top of your mat step your left leg back we are going to either cross our arms behind or move into the reverse prayer fingers pointing up slide your palm up if you can the left leg can be left foot can be slightly diagonal inhale lift your torso pull your navel in exhale fold over your right leg so we are not allowing the shoulders to drop here we're keeping them open by bringing our shoulder blades a bit together chin may be forward or you can drop your head inhale to come up you can either turn around back to the center or you can step back inhale lift your torso exhale to fold inhale come back up step to the top of your mat exhale release let us move to the balancing asana shifting all your weight on your left foot bend your right knee place it on the side on your shin or bringing it all the way here now if possible for you take your arms up open and open your chest up towards the ceiling if you can balance and allow your arms to just be free well done exhale release and change the side shifting all your weight on your right foot all parts of your feet so the weight is equally distributed on all parts of the feet inhale raise your arms and see if you can open the chest and as you exhale release let's move to the top of the mat round of vinyasa inhale arms up exhale to fold inhale head up exhale to your plank lower down to chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale roll or tuck your toes to move into the downward dog and bring your right leg forward drop your left heel maybe supporting with left knee with the cushion from here you can either stay here into you can interlace your fingers placing it over your thigh or inhale to raise your arms either join your palms or open your arms allow the weight of your arms to fall down towards the floor join your palms to the heart center twist to your right left elbow outside your right knee stay here itself or tuck your left toe and lift your knee up off the floor looking at your right shoulder or up towards the ceiling exhale to drop your left knee again stretch your arms in the t shape and from here as you exhale drop your right palm on your right shin on your right calf left arm up opening your chest towards your right you can look towards your right shoulder allow your hips to sink forward well done exhale to come back into your plank lower down to chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog and bring your left leg forward moving into the variation of your low lunge 
whatever you have chosen to do on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to place your palms to the heart center, twist, place your right elbow outside your knee, stay here or tuck your toe, lift up. Exhale, drop. Stretch your arms first, open your chest and then as you exhale, twist to your left. Balance. Exhale back. Coming into your plank, lower down. That was good stretch. Inhale, up. Exhale, moving into your downward dog. And from here, cross your legs to sit down on your mat. Into the dasna. Hands on the side. Catch hold of your breath. Chin parallel to the floor. Toes pointing up. And let us move to Paschimottanasana. Inhale, arms up, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, start to fold forward. Reach out to your shin, ankle, or hook your toe, or maybe outside depending on wherever your body takes you. Pressing your knees back down. Adjusting yourself if need be. Inhale, look back up. Arms all the way up, exhale, palms behind your hips, keeping about five inch, four inch distance between your hips and the palms, fingers pointing to your hips. You can either bend your knee or keep your knee straight. So exhale to lift your hips up and drop your head back or keep it with straight knees, toes, big toes together, pointing towards the floor, palms pressing down. And exhale again, bring your hips back down. Bend your right knee and place your right, right ankle over your left thigh. Now place your palms behind your fingers again pointing to your hips. This is good for your spine as well as for your shoulders. And draw, start drawing your left heel towards you, towards the groin, towards your left sit bone. So as close as you can bring your right chin to your chest. And then maybe as you exhale, open your chest, open your shoulders, look up towards the ceiling. If you want to deepen this, keep walking your palms back. And keep sending this right knee outward. You can drop your head completely back as well. Pressing the palms on the floor is important because that's you're working on the shoulders and we want that stress traveling to the shoulders. And as you exhale, slowly first bring your head back in the center and release, change the side. And this time we are going to point the fingers out not towards the hips. Left ankle or left shin over your right thigh. Draw your right heel towards you and open the chest again. So 
So when you press the foot down, the foot which is on the floor, you can feel you can even lift your chest a bit more up. It kind of gives a lifting. And again, as you exhale, slowly bring your head back down in the center. Release. Extend both of your legs out. Bend your right knee. Catch hold of your right foot from outside with your left palm. Inhale to stretch your right arm outside towards your right, opening your chest to your right and stretching this right knee, straightening the right knee. Exhale to release, change the side. And exhale, release. So we are moving into some of the binds again to work on the shoulder. So maybe in Malasana, so you can place your palms behind your hips. Bring your heels closer to your sit bones and then press your palms to lift your hips up. If you want, place a cushion or the block under your heels if that is what is needed. Now over here, open and stretch your arms out. And we have two options. Either we can take the bind or you can simply Start raising your right arm, opening your chest to your right and place your left palm on the floor. Keep pressing the left knee with your shoulder. Otherwise, take the bind by taking your arm around, placing it on your back, palm facing out and then bending your right elbow, opening your right shoulder. So your left palm would be pulling your right palm so that you can feel that more stretch in the right shoulder. And exhale to release. Let us change the side. Inhale, stretch, take the lengthening and then you can either just stay here or go all the way for your bind. Pull the left, pa left arm with your right palm as far as you can if you're able to take the bind. And feel that opening in your left shoulder. Well done. And as you exhale, release. Let us move to the round of vinyasa. So you can place your palms on the mat. Move into your plank, lower down. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. And bend both of, uh, place both of your knees on the mat. Moving, coming into the kneeling down position for your camel pose. So you can simply place your palms over your hips and just do this much, opening your shoulders and the chest towards the ceiling. Or you can go to the full radiation. Inhale to raise your arm. Lengthen and place it on your right heel. Align your shoulders and then place your left arm back on the left heel. Drop your head back. You can also tuck your toes if you want. Send the pelvis forward. Place your palms again, back on your hips, slowly come up and then gently bringing your neck back in the center. Bring your hips back on your heels and walk your palms forward to move into your child pose. Relax. Lift yourself back up and let us move. So you can swing your knees forward. Lie down on your back. 
moving to the bridge pose hands on the side knees bent exhale to lift your hips up body weight in the center maybe bring your shoulder blades together keep lifting until you start feeling the engagement in your glutes in your hips itself and see where your weight is on your feet is it on the side of your feet or you can feel the weight on the center of your heel and the mound of your toes just explain just being aware of it and then you will automatically correct it and exhale bring your hips back down on the mat release relax if you want you can bend your knees hug your thighs hug your shins and then maybe roll from one side to the other and from here we'll move to the shoulder stand or alternatively you can just do the variation by stretching your legs out into the 90 degree or bounce your hips walk your palms down as far as you can align your heels with your knees and your hips shifting your weight to your shoulders eventually try and engage your glutes your hips and from here we'll move to halasana bring your legs down slowly gently and if your feet touch the ground behind you well done you can then interlace your fingers pressing your toes down on the mat and then roll yourself back into the fish pose so keep your knees bent as you roll back feet under your hips palms facing down stretch your legs out inhale press your elbows down lift your chest up looking at your big toes keep lifting and then maybe drop your head back otherwise you can stay up itself Feel the nice arch in your spine, pressing those knees down. Feeling a nice stretch in your ankles as you point your toes outward. And inhale, lift up. Look at your big toes again. And exhale, slide yourself back. And let us move to now Shavasana relaxation. But whatever movement that you feel like making, maybe you want to roll from one side to the other. We didn't do the twist today, so you can just do a little bit of rolling, twisting from one side to the other, and then you can move into relaxation. If you want, support your knees with a cushion, bolster, and allow your body to be free, loose, relax, relax into your breath. Relax your toes, relax your feet, ankles. Let go of all the tension from your calf, your shin, your knees. your thighs, relax your thighs, your lower back, your abdomen, your hips, groin. Feel a nice expansion in your rib cage, settling down on the mat, your upper back, your chest, shoulders. Feeling your shoulders on the ground, your arms on the ground and relax them. Relax your neck and spine, your face.
relax your forehead, the crown of your head and move and stay in this relaxation into the silence for a minute. Allow yourself to sink down into the stillness where there's no movement happening, nothing happening. All we can do right now is be aware of this relaxation. And continue in this relaxation if you would like to. Or to come out of your relaxation, bring your awareness back to your body. Start to move your toes, fingers gently. Your head from one side to the other. You may want to stretch your whole body. You can bring your feet together, stretch your arms up, stretch your whole body. <sighs> and release. Oh. Bend your knees, roll over to your right. And lift up. Let us prepare to absorb the whole practice first. So let us also absorb the whole benefits of the practice that we have just done today. So thank you for joining me in. If you've enjoyed this practice, you can like, comment or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let us see the practice with one Om Thi Shanti. So join your palms to the heart center. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Shanti, Shanti. Once again, thank you so much. I hope to see you soon again. Until then, bye bye.